everyone, welcome back to The Golf House. If you've been here before, if you're new, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I'm Jenny, and today we're canning. I have leftover ham, and I'm gonna be turning that into seven quarts of country ham and potato soup. Um, it's the potato soup that I personally grew up with, so um, I don't much care for really thick, big potato style soup. I like it with ham chunks and potato chunks and onions and a chicken broth. Yum. Let's get started. FYI, I took my canning time out of this book here, but I also want to let you know that technically ham is on the list of unapproved meats to can due to it being cured. If you're curious, you can go into the USDA Complete Guide to Home Canning and Preserving website and you can check it out. Make sure you do your own research on this. I'm comfortable with canning it. If you're not, do your own research. Um, do what's comfortable for your home. On a side note to ham being one of those meats that they say that you shouldn't can, bum -bum, you can use ball recipes and a lot of their soups have ham in them. So I am okay and comfortable with canning ham in my house. Okay, here's my lineup. I am only using potatoes, ham, and onions. And then I have chicken broth there that I am heating up. And then I will probably put a little bit of fresh cracked black pepper into the jar while I'm filling them. I have four jars here because they're hot. I just pulled them out. The others are still sitting in hot water. Got my canner heating up. So I'm gonna go ahead and start. Hopefully you can see okay. Now, I have my potatoes in some cold water, and when I do potatoes, I scrub them and rinse them. I peel them, rinse them, and then put them in a bowl of um, water, whole, and then I pull them out, rinse them again, chop them into bite-sized pieces. <laughs> then I strain them, rinse them, and put them into another bowl of clear water. This actually, by doing this, and I have found, because I've canned a lot of potatoes, it actually helps keep the starch level a little bit down. So they're still, these are Idaho potatoes, and they're just russets, so they're going to be starchy. There's no two ways about it. Um, but this keeps some of the starch down. So what I'm looking to do is fill my jars with the soup mix about three quarters of the way. Normally you would do it about halfway, but um, when I make my potato soup, I usually put in milk or cream. So with this, I'm gonna give about, I'm gonna fill about three quarters of the way full of soup mixture, and then the rest with broth. If you don't use milk or you don't want to use cream, then go ahead and just fill yours halfway up and then put broth in. No big deal. Um, if you don't like onions, don't put onions in. If you don't like ham, put a different meat in. You know, you could do a turkey ham. You could do, um, you could even just do chopped turkey or chopped chicken, uh, you know, already cooked, whatever you have, or chopped beef. Or you can just make a, a vegetarian potato soup. You want to put in um, extra vegetables? Go ahead and put extra vegetables in. I'm going to use about a third a cup of ham in each jar and about a quarter cup of chopped onion in each jar. And then we'll see how much I got if I need to add more potatoes. And I probably might have to chop up another onion. I had a couple big ones, but um, that's okay. No big deal. Just kind of shake them down a little bit. And my broth is boiling. There's no like real recipe for this. It's kind of like one of those no recipe recipes, if you will. I don't like it too peppery, so two turns of my pepper. I'm gonna put in my broth. We're gonna leave one inch of head space. And 
make sure I don't have any air trapped anywhere in there. And a lot of times after you do that, you gotta put a little bit more broth in to make your one inch head space. Okay. I got a little white vinegar here. Okay, just making sure you can see me. My lid. So I will put this recipe up on my um, blog for you. Like I said it's kind of a no recipe recipe. The measurements aren't exact, but you get the picture. Everybody's in the hot tub. I'm gonna put the lid on. I'm gonna get this buckled down and then when it comes up to pressure, I'm gonna process these guys for 90 minutes. Okay, my soups are done. I'm going to bring them out. Smells so good. Oh my gosh, my house smells delicious from this soup. And of course, they're still boiling, the air is still moving. I had a little bit extra stuff so that I would have extra I could make a little bit of soup on the side for us and that's what I did so we had this for lunch today now if you'd like to make some changes you don't have to put meat in there at all if you don't want to you could put carrots in there you could put um, if you like a potato garlic soup you could just do potatoes garlic onions and then fry up bacon on the side when you heat it up and throw it in um, or if you could get packaged bacon bits and after you heat this up you could toss them in um, and of course you could toss in cheese serve it with sour cream um, put a little cream in a little milk if you prefer if you don't like it creamy don't put the creamy if you want to thicken it you can even use instant mashed potatoes as you heat it up to thicken it or you can get a potato masher and mash some of them if you prefer. Um, there's so many different things you can do with potato soup. 
this is my favorite way to eat it just with a little bit of cream um, but sometimes when the kids are here I put bacon on it I throw on green onion I throw on fresh chives you could put some fresh dill in you could throw in some basil you could mix um, some frozen broccoli in here when you heat it up if you prefer um, anything goes let me tell you <laughs> potato soup is a blank canvas so whatever you like you can add in whatever you don't like about this you can take out okay so that is all there is to the easy ha country ham and potato soup now when I heat this up, I will actually add a little bit of heavy cream to it or a little bit of milk, whatever I have in the fridge, half and half, I don't care. But I'll add just a splash in there to make it a little bit creamy. And the, the broth thickens up slightly in the jar since the potatoes, the starch will come out of the potatoes and actually thicken it up just enough for me. Um, so I absolutely love it. So I'm happy to have seven quarts on the shelf for quick dinners. Because you know, you always need a quick something while you're canning. <laughs> you can't stop in the middle of canning to make a bunch of extra homemade food. I mean, yeah, I do do it sometimes, but holy cow, it's a lot of work. I'd rather just open up a jar and heat up some potato soup. <laughs> if you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It really helps me out a lot, and I sure do appreciate your support. If you haven't started following me on Instagram yet, you should, at JennyGoff18. I'm also on Facebook, and you can visit my blog for all of my recipes, including this one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.